Hey, wanna be like this? Don't worry you've come to the right place. It's really been a while since I promised y'all of my special sauce. You know, my special sauce. Mmm, special sauce. Your special sauce? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's get this straight once. It's not about copying my settings. It's all about the technique, which I will be showing you for every weapon in this video. So enough wasting time, and let's get to the real special sauce. But before that, please smash subscribe smash subscribe so it's obvious that the easiest weapon to make headshots with is desert eagle because this pistol is so stable but the real secret is where you put your aim at by the way this circle is called the aim the first trick is to put the aim on the chest of the enemy and just drag it up as much as you can By the way this is the easiest technique and the most effective one, because you just need to drag up just like in these examples. The second technique is to put the aim below the enemy, and not let it turn to red. Then just drag it up in the enemy's direction. By the way, it's better to learn different techniques because every situation requires certain technique. And by time you will be able to know which technique to use without even thinking about it. You just need to practice these techniques on the training ground. At least play a full training match per day. Now let's move to the second weapon which is everyone's favorite gun. It's all about humanity. Hello again. Basically it's just satisfactory to hit red damages with shotguns. Right, again. It's all depends about where you put your aim at. Let me show you. The first method is to make sure that you let the aim white, and in the level of the chest of the enemy, or below by just a bit. Don't let it come below the chest of the enemy. It's also okay to put the aim on the middle of the chest and just drag up in the enemy's direction. By the way this is how you can measure the level of the aim. Just make sure to always put the aim on the level of your character's head. You can also put the aim below the enemy then just drag up to his direction. The M1887's technique also applies on the sparse 12 shotgun. And the most beneficial advantage for using sparse 12 is that you get way more ammo than just 2 bullets.
the way these techniques requires a high sensitivity, so I recommend you to increase the sensitivity to at least 70. It's okay if your emulator's sensitivity or phone's TPI is high. Just remember that higher sensitivity increases your chances of hitting headshots. Don't worry I will be showing you all of my settings later in this video. You can also use the same previous techniques with the Mac 7. However for the long shotgun aka the M1014 you will need to use an advanced technique. Just put the aim nearby the enemy, it's okay to let it white or red, but the most important thing is to drag down then to drag up as quick as possible. Oh no, seems like our time is up for this video. I realize that it's impossible to teach you about all the weapons in just one video, because it would be so long, and I know only a few of you my loyal subscribers would watch till the end, so I'm dividing it into two parts, where next time I will be teaching you about AR rifles, SMG, and my favorite, the marksman rifles aka woodpecker and SVD. And one last tip, before showing you my settings, watching this video without practicing on the training ground daily is just useless. Because even me, I still play on the training every day and even more than I really play the game. And you know what they say. Keep training till your FF coins become the same as your phone number. Yes I know that I still have a very long journey, but guess who have it too? You. Gonna do? Smash subscribe! That's right!